everybody once again is brand man Sean and today I got a very special clip from a very special interview I had with a very special guest. His name is Armand Sadler. He is a writer, has written for Past the Aux, well writes for Past the Aux, Elevator, and Revolt TV. And what he's talking about in this clip is so important because he's talking about how he likes artists and managers to reach out to him. Like, how do you get in contact with somebody like him? And if you listen to how he talks about his own personal preferences, I guarantee you, you'll hear a lot of tips to help you get in reach with any writer of any magazine, blog, and as a matter of fact, just a lot of influential people out there. So go ahead, check this clip out. Yeah, for me, it's 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 always impressive when I see people just did their research. So uh, this one guy DM me, he was like, "Hey man, you know, I saw, I see what you do with Hammy the Ox. You know, I, I loved your articles, especially this one. And then I see you moved on to the Source and Revolt. You know, it shows that they actually like, you know, because I, I I have all my stuff in my bio on Twitter and Instagram. So, but if if you can, you know, name something specific that I've done for a specific publication, like. Uh, the article I did on on the art of incomplete songs or the article I did on the element of surprise music, if you can actually cite something specific from that, that's really impressive to me. That shows me that, you know, again, you're not just looking to get something out of me, but you you took the time to take an interest in what I do. And then you also shot your shot professionally and, and hit me up on social media and put yourself out there. Like that's that's really bold. It's tough. And, you know, people are always on Twitter underneath uh, celebrities tweets putting their SoundCloud link and stuff like that's cool it's a way to get exposure if you're kind of going off of a celebrities tweet but if you're it's all about it's all about the direct in interaction with people like that's really where you feel the most connected so that I, I would say social media taking an interest in what I did and, and that's a lesson for all of networking not just for for writers that's for if you're trying to be if you're trying to work at Goldman Sachs and and you happen to meet the, the VP of whatever, like if you go through their LinkedIn and research them and you can like talk to them about what they do and then also provide them some information that, that they don't have or send them a cool article, that's that's a really good way to get over and to build rapport and ultimately lead to a conversation that could get you somewhere, so. Exactly, I think that's extremely valuable. I actually wrote something called a master music networking guide and I go over a lot of those things very specifically that you just said because it's really about being professional and it's really about showing that this is not some random message. You can't just spam everybody. You have to sh show that I chose you to speak, like to, to reach out to, because I saw value in you in particular. Right. You know? Like if you, if you can't do it as an artist, then at least figure out how to fake in some sorts that you chose that person, right? It, it, yeah. It's hard to get out there. I know you're just trying to figure out that one person that could put you on, but I think it'll make it a lot easier when you don't look at these writers or these people as that one person that'll put you on because usually it's not anyway. You know, yeah. you're, it's just a building of a, a, a network of people and eventually that snowballs and now your network that you built might put you on as a whole, but it's never going to be just one contact. Exactly. Exactly. All right, I know that was super dope for you guys, and I can't wait to drop the full interview soon with Armand. And just to add on, I mentioned the Master Music Networking Guide in that interview clip, and if you have not checked it out, trust me, the things that I have put in there are straight truth. They are not like random hypotheses and theories. It's real stuff that you can use and use immediately. There's a lot of people who've gotten huge benefit from it. Check it out if you have not yet. But other than that, stay tuned for our mind Sadler's full interview coming soon. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, go ahead and share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.